All right. Praise the Lord. We give God all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. We got an exciting show today. Uh, praise the Lord. We're going to talk about fear and believe. So we're going to talk about these two, uh, two aspects of the word. So get your books and paper and get ready. And we're going to get into this thing. All right. Well, praise Lord. So let's go into prayer. Father, we thank you today. We give you glory. We give you praise. We magnify your holy name. Lord, we thank you for all that you allow us to do. We thank you, Lord, to be in your presence at this time. We thank you for your word, Lord. Oh, God, in all your wisdom, Lord, you left your word for us, Lord, so that we can know more about you. Lord, we give you glory and praise. Lord, let help us to see ourselves. Help us to see ourselves, oh God, in your word, that we become a doer of the word and not just a hearer. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Like I say, we're going to talk about faith and believe, okay? Faith and believe. So we're going to come from the book of Luke, the 8th chapter, and we're going to read from 49 to 56, okay? So we're going to be off in this area. So this is uh, talking about Jairus, you know, and and Jairus had a sick daughter. Now, I think we all know the story, you know, had a sick daughter. But Luke, you know, kind of condenses it. He doesn't give a lot of other details, but he kind of condenses it. Luke was about detail. You know, Luke was a doctor. He was about detail. OK, so we're going to read through this. OK. All right. So it says. Luke 8 and 49, it says, While he yet spake, uh, there came one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, uh, uh, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. So you know that uh, Jairus, he was going to go see Jesus because his, his daughter was sick. and uh, But before he even got there and got back, the message was sent to Jairus, don't mess with Jesus anymore, your daughter's dead. Because they believed that once death happened, that was the end of the whole situation. And uh, praise the Lord. I mean, and but Jairus, he had faith. He, had, he believed that Jesus was able to do some things. Now, remember Jairus, he, he, was, uh, 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 he was in the Pharisees. Uh, you know, he was one of those religious leaders. And... Um, and he just kind of kept hearing about Jesus, you know, you know, that what Jesus did, his miracles and all these things. So he believed that uh, Jesus was able, praise the Lord, that Jesus was able to uh, do something different than what he heard. Amen. Praise the Lord. So let's take a look at this again. He says, while he yet spake or while Jesus spake, there came one from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him, thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. You know, so he's saying, don't trouble the master in this thing, you know. He says, but the 50th verse says, but Jesus heard it, and he answered him and said, now here it is, he says, fear not, believe only, she shall be made whole. Now, <laughs> praise the Lord. Now, Jesus is telling him, because they had never seen nobody raised from the dead or anything like that. Now he getting he getting the message. Your daughter is dead. Your daughter died. So why bother Jesus anymore? Because Jesus has never raised anybody from the dead. But Jesus tell him to not fear and to believe. And then he's going to see something that's really great. Now I want you to understand that is the big thing. Us being children of God, we got to stop moving into fear. Because a lot of times we go into fear. If something happens in our life, the doctor gives us a report. And the first thing we do is move into fear instead of removing into believing God is going to do something about it. It's just like we go right to fear, you know, right off. Doctor said, you got cancer. Oh, my goodness. You're already thinking about your death. I'm going to die. I got to get prepared and all stuff. Instead of doing that, believe in God. Believe in his ability 
to do something for you. So he told him right here, he said, fear not. He said, believe only. So that's what we have to do. We have to believe in the word of God. And the only way we going to build up our belief in the word of God is to read the word of God. This is what we got to do. We got to read the Bible. We got to pick the Bible up daily. Read the Bible. Read what goes on in the word of God to build up our faith that God is able to do all things. You know, he, 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 he there's nothing too hard for God. You got to understand that there's nothing too hard for God. So we have to build up our faith. Otherwise, we're going to start believing in what the world says. The world says, oh, you sick and you're going to die. Oh, you're going to get this disease. All oh, these bad things are going to happen to you. And we'll start believing in those things because that's what's coming into us more than what the word is. We need to have more word and less world. Okay. So that we will be balanced uh, with the Lord. So we won't be going into fear, going into doubt, going into unbelief. And that's what Jesus was doing here with Jairus. He was saying, fear not, believe only. And he says, and she shall be made whole. He said, now I want you to believe this. And if you keep believing your faith is there, your daughter will be made whole. Because we know the Bible says without faith is impossible to please God. God wants you to have faith that he's able to do all these things and he can do these things. He can heal your body. He can deliver you from every demon that comes against you. He can do all these things. But nowadays he worked these things through man. I want you to understand that we're reading about Jesus now. Jesus has not went to heaven and uh, so he has not given the command for his disciples to do these things. But when Jesus left, he left these for us to do. Amen. He left these for us to do, us to reach out to the people, us to lay our hands upon the sick and they shall recover. He left it up for us to cast out devils. He, he, he left it up to us to not walk in fear, but in faith and to believe God's word. Amen. Praise the Lord. So he said, fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. Okay. And it says, and when he came into the house, verse 51, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the maiden. Now, Jesus was not ready for this miracle to be out in front of everybody right now at this time. And plus, if it was, it would have drawn a lot of attention to the husband and wife, right? It would have drawn a lot of attention. Let everybody be coming to look at the girl that was raised from the dead, you know? And they didn't really need that type of attention. Amen. Isn't God so sweet and he's so gracious unto us? He understands that we don't need to go through some of these things. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, and his 52nd verse says, And all wept and bewailed her. But he said, weep not, listen, because he's talking faith. He said, weep not, she is not dead, but sleep. But sleep, he is speaking faith. Jesus, he knew what faith was. You know, he's speaking things, the power of God. He understood who God was and what God is able to do when faith is present. So he's telling them, why are you crying? Yes, the girl is dead. She's literally dead as a doornail, as they would say. She is dead. But Jesus is speaking some faith. He's saying here, she is not dead, but asleep. See, he understood the spiritual state of this girl. And I'm not, I'm not promoting soul sleep. I'm not promoting that. No. But he's telling you that this girl is asleep. And I'm going to wake her up. Amen. It is a word. He said she is dead, but I'm going to wake her up. Okay. 53rd verse says, and they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. Now, that was a fact, okay? That was a fact. Yes, she was dead. She was dead. That was a fact. And they laughed. They said, well, what are you talking about? She's asleep. She's dead. She's dead. She's not asleep. We know she's dead. We've seen her laying there. We've seen her not breathing. She is dead. But you are saying that she is that she is asleep. 
So they laughed at Jesus. You know, they said, man, this guy, he crazy. That girl's up there dead, you know, and he talking about she's asleep. Okay. Okay. But we understand it's a fact. So we understand that there's a fact. Okay. If I am sick in my body, it's a fact that I am sick. It's a fact. But it's also a fact that I am healed too. Okay. Now, one thing is going to have to win over another. Yes, physically, I am sick, but when I go to the Lord and I go pray and I say, Father, heal me of this sickness, and I command that sickness, I say, sickness, go in the name of Jesus, then I am healed, no matter if I still feel sick or anything, because God has healed me, he has healed me, but it may not be manifested at this exact time that I am healed, but I am healed by faith. See, that's the big difference in everything. You have to believe that you are healed and that God has done exactly what he said he's going to do. Praise the Lord. That's faith. It's not it, faith is faith. Sometimes it's not seen right away. You know, the evidence of it is not seen right away. But the fact is that you are healed. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm saying. It, it, you are healed. All right, it's here, the 54th verse says, and he put them all out and took her by the hand and said, made him arise, okay? Now, he t <clears throat> he put ahead to put all the people who don't believe. One thing I have learned is you need to get those people out of your life who do not have any faith. You don't need them people praying for you who don't have no faith. If they cannot believe the word of God, if they cannot believe what God's word is saying, then you don't need those people in your life. You don't need them around you. I'm telling you, all that doubt and unbelief will stop your miracles from happening. And I don't need those people around. So that's why I say when, when things happen to me, right, that's going on with me, things that happen with me, and uh, I'm not going to go around and tell everybody, hey, you know what, I'm having this issue in my body and I, I you know and i want you to pray with me i'm not going to ask them to do that because more than likely they don't have faith they don't have enough faith to uh, to to make anything happen you know so i don't need them cursing me or speaking something negative you know i know he's sick he, he ain't gonna get healed and they start speaking all this negative stuff towards me and over me i rebuke that in the name of jesus that's why I don't say a lot about whatever's going on in my body because I take it to the Lord. I anoint myself with oil and I, I pray the prayer of faith over me that I may be healed and I command that healing in my body and within an hour or so that pain or whatever's going on is gone. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> That's why Jesus, he had to put folks out. He had to put those folks out that did not believe. Those folks that say, oh, she dead. What are you doing? All that stuff, all that negative stuff that's not faith. Because Jesus can't operate in the atmosphere if there's no faith there. Amen. If you don't believe God is able to do it, then you are in doubt. You are in unbelief. And he is not able to do anything for you because you're like the wave of the sea. You're up and down. I believe, I don't believe. I'm going back and forth. You have to be steadfast in your faith, knowing for sure, without a doubt, that God is able to do what he said he could do. Woo! Come on now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you need to get them folks out of your life. You can tell them folks, get out of here. I don't need you praying for me. I don't need you doing nothing. Get out of my life. Because I need folks with faith that believe that God is able. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. So what he did, look, he said he put him out. And he said to the maiden, uh, uh, arise. And listen what happened. He says, and her spirit came again. <laughs> Woo, isn't that something? Her spirit, her spirit had left her body. She dead. Anybody dead ain't got no spirit in them, right? <laughs> okay. So it's saying right here that uh, when he told, when he, by faith, he spoke maiden, he said, maiden, 
arise and he used words now he didn't have to slap her or anything like that do no potions and all kind of stuff he said maiden arise and God heard the voice of Jesus and her spirit came back into her body Woo! come on now we ought to be getting excited about this I mean getting excited about this word amen look at the power of this word now, Jesus, had, he has given us this same authority, amen. He has given us this same thing that he had, that when we speak in faith of God's word, that God reacts, amen, and things happen. Woo, come on now, come on now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, and her spirit came again. Her spirit came to her again because Jesus spoke in faith said, arise. My goodness, my goodness. And it says, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat, because she ain't dead no more. She been like on a fast or something. She was hungry after this. So she needed to eat. Praise the Lord. And that's to prove to the parents that she ain't dead, you know, or no ghost or whatever, you know. Give her some food to eat, right? Now it says, the last verse says, and her parents were astonished. Astonished. Listen to that word. Her parents were astonished. I mean, I'd be astonished too, wouldn't you? Even today, man, we pray for somebody to get up. I'd be astonished too. I'd be giving God praise and my goodness. Look at the power of the Lord. You know, when a person get healed, when a person get delivered from demons, you know, you'd be astonished looking at the power of God moving in that person's life. Woo, come on now. So they were astonished. And he charged them that they should not tell no man what was done. Like I said, Jesus said he, he, he's having compassion on them. Say, don't say anything yet because I don't need to be revealed yet. And also, you don't need all that attention. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, we have to push out fear. We have to get rid of fear. We have to tell fear goodbye. We have to just do away with fear. And, and start believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and his word. I mean, he gave us a Bible that is full of faith. He gave us a Bible that is full of power. Amen. And, and the anointing of God in this Bible. Praise the Lord. And we have all of these things present for us if we only just believe the word of God. Amen. I hope you encouraged today. I hope I hope this word is building your faith. I mean, God has placed all these things in us. The Bible says, just as Jesus is presently, we are the same also. Because we have the Holy Spirit. We have God dwelling inside of us. Amen. We have the same authority. We have the same power that's given to Jesus because God is in us. Amen. Don't look at your physical realm. And I think that's the problem. We keep looking at the limitation of our physical realm. Amen. It is the spirit that has power. It's the Holy Ghost that does the work. Amen. All we have to do is move by faith and let the Holy Ghost do the work. Amen. If you let him do the work, you'll see miraculous things. So praise the Lord. I tell you, I give God all glory, all praise, and all honor. I mean, his word really ex excites me, you know, because we know God can do all things, man, all things. Praise the Lord. And his word is just so exciting to me. And I tell you what, I pray that it is exciting to you. And uh, praise the Lord. So I just thank you so much for uh, watching this episode. And I think this is episode 13, 12 or 13. And I, and I, and I pray that you receive something from the Lord. You know, please feel feel free to contact me uh, uh, over our website. Amen. You know, go to our website. And like I say, you can always hit that little thing at the bottom and uh, give us an email. Let us know what's going on, how this message encouraged you. And uh, praise the Lord, we will get back with you. Also, I want you to remember to subscribe. Get, you know, give me the thumbs up, the bell, and all that stuff. Subscribe, you know. And tell other people about this word, you know, because we're studying the word together. Amen. And we also have a deliverance class, okay, a, be, a beginning deliverance class. 
I think you've been seeing it about every message now. We have a beginning deliverance class that you can join, and you'll see the link and everything. Just go to the link, sign up for this deliverance class, and uh, I'm, I'm not. I think it's 13 lessons off in there, and uh, and you can learn more about this deliverance. It'll help build your faith. It'll help build your faith when you understand the power of God and what He has done for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. You'll learn a lot about that. All right. Well, praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you, I, I thank you for studying the word with me. So let's go out with prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. Lord, we magnify your holy name. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done, Lord. We thank you for every soul that heard this, Lord. I ask that you would encourage their heart, Lord. Fire them up, Lord. Fire them up, Lord. Put them on fire, Lord, for you and for your word. Help them to believe, oh God, your word, every word, Lord, of you is true. Every word that you put in this book, Lord, is true. And Lord, we just thank you and we give you praise and glory. And Lord, we magnify your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode. God bless you.